All right, so for today's episode of Industrial Sage, we are not on the normal Industrial Sage set because Optimum Productions here, we have a really cool project going on where we're in an airplane set. This is really cool. We had a pretty cool project that we we're shooting a bunch of stuff on. And um, yeah, so our set is behind us and it's completely in disarray. So we had to shoot it on this airplane set and it's gonna be really cool. I'll have to share the video with you what we did here uh, once it's done here in a few weeks. But for today's episode, uh, it's really exciting. I wanna go over some five marketing technology uh, platforms or, or services that you might not be aware of that are gonna be really cool that'll help to really innovate and drive automation in your business. So you don't wanna miss this episode to learn about some of these really cool technologies that are coming out. I'm Danny Gonzalez and this is Industrial Sage. Welcome to Industrial Sage, a free video podcast series all about digital marketing for industrial manufacturers. Hear interviews with your peers and find out how they're solving the same challenges that you might be facing in your own field. Coming to you from the Optimum Production Studio in Atlanta, Georgia, this is Industrial Sage. Hey, Danny Gonzalez here with Industrial Sage. Hey, before we jump into today's episode, I got a question for you. Do you have a solid digital marketing content plan? Or do you have questions around that? Well, listen, we've got a really great, free, awesome tool for you. It's our Digital Marketing Content Planner. It's a download that is a very comprehensive plan on how to take all of your digital marketing content, look at your personas, look at your calls to action, look at your strategy, and take everything that you have on your whiteboard or maybe in your head and really crystallize it and put it together in a very actionable format. So if you're interested in this, you can go to industrialsage.com forward slash digital hyphen content hyphen planner and you get access to this free tool and we'll even send you a 10 minute free guide on how to walk through and set it up. So I don't want to delay any further. Let's jump into today's episode. All right, so there are a million different marketing technologies and sales technologies out there right now. Um, if you look at the MarTech stack over the last five or six years, it is growing exponentially. But for today, I wanna to focus on five different marketing technologies that uh, we've used uh, and, and kind of explain you know, what they are and how they can help your business. They're really cool. Now, bear in mind, there are a million other different types of um, technologies you can do, and we'll probably roll out with a few of these throughout the rest of the year. But these are, these are five that are kind of notable um, that uh, you may not be um, aware of, and they're really cool. So the first one is a really interesting um, one. For, this is really great for sales, and it's called Crystal Nose. Now, no, it's not for meth. It's not Crystal Nose. Um, it is basically for sales um, prospecting. What you can do with it is on LinkedIn, for example, you can go in and uh, it'll tell you the, um, uh, the, I guess, the thinking or personality profiles of somebody that you want to talk to. So, for example, you can break it down into, if you're familiar with DISC, for example, the, the, the different DISC personalities, um, that it kind of categorizes and rates you based off of your LinkedIn profile. It can also do it with email. So kind of a little, you know, maybe a little creepy, but uh, it's really cool for sales to be able to walk into a meeting and have an understanding that, you know, you're talking with somebody who's a really big idea guy, and they, you know, we're going to talk about big ideas here and how this is going to help totally change your business versus somebody who's going to be very calculated and they want to see the numbers and the ROI is important. I mean, ROI should be important for everybody, but you know where I'm getting at. Or maybe somebody who is uh, all about, you know, the kumbaya and making that relationship and that connection there that you're going to tailor that message and how you talk to, the, to this person based on maybe their, their personalities. It kind of gives you a, sort of a level up in terms of um, how to engage and how to communicate effectively with them. Uh, it, it's, it's got a really cool area with email, for example. It'll give you suggestions if you're typing an email to them. It'll say, you know, don't start the email this way. Don't say, hey, what's going on for somebody who is really quick and to the point. It's going to say, why don't you say it this way? Danny, great seeing you. Let's meet next week. Keep it really short and simple versus something that's gonna be a little bit more flowery. So there's a lot of other bells and whistles with it. That's really cool. You totally check it out. There's a free trial called Crystal Nose. So crystal like, uh, I don't know, crystals and the nose like uh, I know things, K-N-O-W-S. Uh, the, the links will be in the show notes. So the other uh, really great tool that we love uh, is Vidyard actually. So Vidyard is a video hosting and analytics platform. Uh, and they there's a whole lot of things that you can do with that. So. 
Um, we all know that video is exploding in its use, so it's not just for marketing anymore. It's really used for marketing, it's used for sales, it's used for customer success uh, and support and training uh, and HR and internal cor corporate communications. There's just so many different use cases for it that Vidyard has a really great ability to be able to kind of bring everything together uh, and be able to house all those videos sort of un uh, under one roof. Uh, it has the ability to have microsites that are uh, that can be customized, so you can have the, the look and feel of your website. So for example, if you've got a library of content of, uh, let's say, how-to videos with your, with your products that you want to roll out uh, through distributors or to, to your end users on how to use your product, and, and these are maybe frequently asked questions that come in, uh, this can be a whole video library that lives with your website, and the really cool thing is you can get analytics on it. So you can see who's watching your videos, how much of the videos they're watching, and that's really important information and data to have because that's gonna help you to get an understanding of, are people resonating with your message? Are people, um, you know, are your videos really effective? And you know, as a marketer, that should be really, really important. Um, the other things that you can do with it, one of the super great features that I love, and this is something that I've talked about in previous episodes, if you go back to uh, when I talked about the four steps of prospecting, one of uh, Vidyard's super cool tools is what they call Go Video. And Go Video is the ability for somebody to be able to create their own video using a, um, like a desktop um, like computer, like a, what do you call it? What, I'm, I'm totally losing my train of thought. So like a camera, you know, it's built into your laptop that you would do a Skype call or something with. You can create a video on the fly using this tool and then send it out to prospects or send it out to customers. Um, you can even create screen captures with it. And the really great thing about it is that it creates a, a thumbnail inside the email. So what, what we'll do is we'll write the person's name and on a dry erase board and be like, wave at them and create an animated GIF for the thumbnail so that when somebody opens up that email, that all of a sudden somebody's waving at them and their name is on a dry erase board and their eye automatically goes, oh, wow, I want to check this out. This is really cool. The other really neat thing is because it's on an analytics platform, is you get a notification that somebody is watching that video and it'll even tell you how much. So we'll get a little alert that'll pop up and it'll say, you know, uh, so-and-so watched 50% of your video or 100% of it. Um, and any other video that you have on that platform that, that you have sent that to somebody or it could be in your video library or somewhere that you've embedded on your website or in a blog article, those analytics will pull in as well. The other really cool thing is that all this data will flow into marketing automation platforms like HubSpot, Pardot, um, Eloqua, uh, and Marketo, and probably a few, there's a few others out there. Um, and that data is really awesome. You can create triggers and stuff off of that. Um, you can push it into um, CRMs like Salesforce, for example. So it's a really, really, really valuable tool to be able to get a sense of how your content is performing, how your prospects are engaging with that content, um, or how to uh, really create an engaging experience for customers if they have a, a, a troubleshooting question on, you know, oh, how do you, um, how do you open that new account? I can't remember. You can just really quickly create a video and show them how to do that. So it's awesome. Uh, and there's a bunch of other bells and whistles on it, but we've got some other uh, videos and some other content on that. I know we, have, we talk about um, how to use video in sales. I know I referenced this in there. You can take, that's another episode you can take a look at. Um, that references some of this technology. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Um, so the other piece I want to talk about is HubSpot. So there's HubSpot's a marketing automation platform, and there's a lot out there. And I just listed some. So Pardot, Eloqua, Marketo, HubSpot. Those are kind of the big four. Um, 366 is another one. Um, there's there's a, there's a lot. There's no lack of them out there, um, and there are several different price points. We're big fans of HubSpot, um, and honestly, in full disclosure, we are HubSpot partners as well, so we, you know a little bit of a bias there. Um, it's very user-friendly, and the functionality is awesome. The value that HubSpot really brings to the table is that it helps to automate your, um, your marketing process. So let's say, for example, and we've talked about this a lot on, on Industrial Sage, that you have... Uh, let's say you've got an ad on LinkedIn or Facebook or um, you know, you're promoting a webinar and, and you're, you're, you're putting you know, an ad out there that basically HubSpot will, uh, if somebody converts, they put their information in to get that webinar or to get whatever piece of content that you're offering out there, that it will basically track, be able to track that person. And you're able to see what websites they're looking at, what different types of content you're going, and be able to feed 
um, different emails and different pieces of content to them that really talk to their need and helps to educate them along their buyer's journey. So in really, what it does really, really, really well is instead of having salespeople having to constantly move somebody through a sales cycle and personally kind of walk them through hand by hand, this is, this is designed to, have, to be able to create lots of content, blog articles, videos, webinars, all kinds of things floating out there on the internet that educates your prospect on your product or service. And you keep feeding them content. It, it tracks it. Um, you, you have different content offers that are, can be smart. So, for example, I go to your website. I'm a first-time visitor. I get a top-of-funnel piece of content offer. I visit a week later after I download that. Instead of having that same content offer there, it recognizes who I am, and it's going to give me a different piece of content that's going to be a little bit more further down the buyer's journey. So it creates a little bit more of a tailored experience. Um, HubSpot is so powerful. There's so many different things you can do with it. There are so many different integrations. Um, they even have their own um, sales integration tool, and they've even got some service uh, integrations for customer service and things like that. We don't really use that as much over here, but the sales CRM side and the marketing side we use all the time, and it's really awesome. Uh, again, the value is really to be able to help to automate that sales process a little bit, to be able to you know, adhere to the inbound methodology. We talked about this with um, Chart Industries, for example, a couple episodes ago, where they're using it. And the whole goal there is to be able to use your website to attract leads. So you've got content out there, content that people are looking for. There, you have the answers to this, the problems and the challenges that your customers are looking to solve. You put that out there, that attracts them. You have content offers them, and then you just keep sending them information and providing lots and lots of value. Gary Vee talks about that a lot. Provide value, provide value, provide value, provide value, provide value, and then the right hook, jab. I think that was right. So um, it's a great tool to be able to help do that. Uh, and don't be fooled by the whole like marketing automation. Oh, we just said it and forget it and it's done. No, it takes a lot of work. I'm, there, I'm not going to lie about that. It takes a lot of work, but it's incredibly powerful once you have this in place and you keep uh, adding content and, and making it uh, you know, more of that iterative process, it's very exciting. Uh, okay, so we've talked about several different pieces here. The other thing that I want to talk about is the, the other uh, technology that I think is really cool is Drift. So if you remember at the beginning of this year, we talked about um, some, of the, some of the different big changes that we were going to see in 2018. Uh, and bots, chatbots was a really big one. Drift has come out of the market in the last several years as one of the leading providers of chatbots. And so if you're not familiar with what a chatbot is, imagine this. You go to a website and all of a sudden, you know, a little pop-up comes up on the left, or, you know, the bottom of the screen. And it says, hey, I'm, I'm Danny. I'm here to help you. What are you looking for? How can I help you? Well, what, what, is, what this is designed to do is to be able to help to create uh, a more um, hand-holding experience on your website. Look, if you back up again, and it, again, this goes in part of that inbound methodology. You have a lot of people that are coming to your website, hopefully, right? And they're there, but they're anonymous. We don't know who they are. So part of the goal is we need to convert them. We need to get them to identify who they are and, and you know, kind of turn them into an MQL, so a marketing qualified lead, figure out where they are on the, on the sales cycle, and then eventually convert them over to sales. So the chatbots are a way to be able to kind of automate that experience. So I'm, I'm sure you've probably experienced this because you're starting to see this come out a little bit more, um, but that basically can help to start to facilitate a conversation. So for example, actually going back to that example that I had with HubSpot where you go to a website and a content offer pops up, maybe that chatbot comes up and says, hey, what are you here looking for? And there's maybe three options that are already selected. Like I'm here to, to learn about your services. I'm here just to kick the tires. I'm here uh, because I got a project I need to figure out immediately. And based on those answers, then there's like a whole other set of messages in different areas that that chatbot can help guide them to. The whole goal really is to, to make contact with somebody on their website and help them to get to the information that they need faster. Because the faster they can get that information, they're looking to have their, their challenge, their problem solved, the better. So the, that really helps facilitate it. And it's really cool stuff. You can send videos to people. You can um, send them articles and say, hey, well, listen, you know, if you're here looking for, you have an immediate project, um, you know, here's, we have this great guide that can help you, you know, access this. Or here's some spec sheets on this different thing you're looking for. And it really helps to kind of, you know, feed that and, and get that going. So super, super, super cool stuff. All right, so we've talked about four different technologies. We talked about uh, Vidyard, we talked about HubSpot, we talked about Drift, and we talked about 
Crystal knows. So the last one that I want to talk about is really cool, and you hopefully have heard of this. If not, this is awesome technology. It is called Terminus. What is Terminus? Well, it's a really great ad platform that is fantastic for B2B. So what it does is you, so if you're familiar with, pay, uh, pay, blah, 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 I can't talk, I'm gonna keep going, but it's all right. If you're familiar with pay-per-click, um, you know, a programmatic video, uh, banner ads, that kind of thing. If, so I'll just explain what that is for, the, for those who aren't familiar with it. So you, you know on Google when you're, inter, when you're searching on stuff and then there's ads that'll pop up and there are images that'll be on the right-hand screen. Um, that is display, uh, you know, and, and kind of like banner ads, right? Uh, or you're watching a video on Forbes or CNN and a ad plays before the video that you want to watch. That's called programmatic video. And so what Terminus does is it, it has the ability to be able to um, display those ads. So you could have uh, ads for a webinar or a trade show or an event or just a whole host of different things. But the real power comes in is that you can take your customer like email list or um, let's say there's a whole prospect list, a whole list of companies, all their domains. So I want to get in front of Honeywell, I want to get in front of Siemens, I want to get in front of uh, Boeing, whatever, whoever that is, and we can upload that into the system and then we say, okay, we want to get in front of VP of operations, procurement, all these different areas. And what it can do is you can actually send ads, banner, ad, uh, banner display ads, programmatic video we talked about there, and we can literally go target those people and that software helps to be able to do that. It is really awesome. So instead of just saying, okay, you know, we're just through a blanket PPC campaign, which there still is definitely value in that, but you know, let's say you've got to focus on a particular vertical that you want to go after and you really just want to have kind of like a micro focus on there, then you can, we can send ads to all those people and say, I want to pick the different titles of those people in there inside these companies. And that means you're going to get your banner ads, uh, your, your, your display ads, your videos in front of these targeted people and help to, you know, drive them back to your website for a particular content offer or event or something like that. So it's a really cool tool to be able to take ad budget that you have and really be able to focus it. And, and it works really well on that B2B side. And the other thing that it does really cool or really well uh, is it, you know, it's, it's big into account-based marketing. So let's say, for example, you're targeting, you, your message to the CEO, procurement, operations, and a field worker are going to be very different. This goes back to that persona de development, that persona uh, issue. So maybe ads that you would spend or that you would send to a CEO is going to be more awareness. Like this is who you are. You guys are very established, been around forever. Versus the field operations person you want to get in front of is going to be more about how this is going to help solve their challenge. That this is going to make their life a million times easier. So, um, and, you know, so on and so forth. So you can tailor those messages according to your audience. Um, it has really cool integrations into Salesforce. So, you know, you, you, you start getting into the negotiation phase, for example, of a deal and you can change your message to, you know, to, in your creative based, based uh, on where you are and where they are in that funnel so that when it comes to approval time for the CEO to sign off on something, they've never heard of you magically. It's like, oh yeah, I, I've heard about these guys. I just saw something on the internet about them well, last week. That was kind of weird. Was it weird or was it strategic? So anyways, so there you go. So those are a, just a couple of the thousands of software technologies out there. Um, but just wanted to put these out there and just share with you some of the different things that we use um, and different technologies that you can use to help to automate and, and really build out your marketing and your sales. So there's some really great stuff out there. Um, and uh, so hopefully you found this really, really valuable. We love a lot of these tools. So if you have any particular questions, that you'd like us to answer on the show, Industrial Sage, reach out to industrialsage.com forward slash questions. We'd love to answer them for you. And as always, please like, share, subscribe, give us a rating, all that good stuff. We're on iTunes, we're on the website, industrialsage.com, we're on all the social media platforms for the most part. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening slash watching. I'm Dana Gonzalez, and this is Industrial Sage.